Hi, it's Adam Phillips from Kyokun MMA and Jiu Jitsu. This is my glamorous assistant. The legend Mike Jip Cutting. <laughs> I haven't. Is he got a microphone? Yeah. You know how microphones work, they'll be fine. You, you can pick up. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I've <laughs> got to get real close. Uh, this video is for Mo. Thank you, Mo, for. Uh, chatting to us from our last video that we did, uh, which was the baseball bat choke, but in the gi, and you said to us, could you do a demo for the no gi? Well, you know what? We bloody this can. For you, mate. We bloody can as well. So the setup itself from the baseball bat choke, now you can get this, again, I'm not gonna go through the ins and outs, but you can get this from any position, from standing, from the floor, from the guard, that like we did it the other day. Um, so we'll show it from the standing and from the floor, but, there are, you can hit this in multiple positions, from side control, from mount, all that kind of stuff. Um, also, what we're not gonna chat about is what you could do to defend it, because this isn't a defense from the um, baseball bat choke, because if we do that, then we go, yeah, but if we do that, then what happens if we do counter do this? this? And you go, well, if you did that, I would do this, and if you did that, then we would do that to counter the counter. So there's always gonna be a defense to everything and anything that you do. Um, best thing to do is don't get in a position, and then you'll be right. Okay, so from the baseball bat choke. Now, we haven't got a gi on, so from the baseball bat choke, if you remember the video, we said one hand comes in, one hand goes over, and you grip it like this. Now, obviously, we can't do that here, because the jib isn't wearing anything, okay? Uh, well, for this time, you actually are wearing something, which makes yeah. a change, isn't it? Eh? Different videos. Right, so different videos. videos, right. So from here, because you haven't got anything, we'll be changing the grip, okay? So it's this grip, the S grip, and it's kind of like, it takes a bit of getting used to, so it's worth just practicing. So from this position here, we're gonna go over like this, okay? Now it does take a bit of practice. I'm gonna get a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So from this position here, it comes over like this. Do you yeah. see that? S grip. <laughs> so that's where we wanna be. Okay, so we've got a part of this position. We've got the S grip, come a bit forward. So from here, the S grip comes around. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sink over. So my left hand is going over the back of his head essentially. And we're gonna come through from here. And that's it, done. Simple as that, right? So from this position, if you're in this, in this sort of clinch position from here, you can come up and then you can drop to the floor. And it's done. Okay? Don't know if you caught that on camera because I'm not sure if we were zoomed out enough. So we'll come back here a little bit. Okay, so from this position, if I go from here, I've got hands, so this hand is gonna come over the top of his neck and this hand is gonna come underneath, okay? So as long as the, the hand is, one hand is over the neck, the other one, the thumb wants to be pointing into the shoulder. So if I was to go over the other side, the hand's coming over the neck, my right hand, my thumb wants to go into his shoulder, okay? That's the kind of, it might just help with your position, because it is, it's not, an S, it's not like an S grip like this, which is what you would, turn the hand over. you've got to turn it over, okay? So from here, you've got pinky and forefinger come together, and then the thumb's gonna go into the shoulder, okay? From here, and then we've got from here. Boom, done? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so from the guard position, if we go from here. Uh, can we see that all right? We yeah, got the, so. yeah, okay, cool. So from here, rather than grabbing the gi like we did before, this hand's gonna come over. It's gonna be pinky to uh, point the finger together. Thumb's gonna go into the shoulder. Open the guard. As they come through, wait, wait, wait. And then as they come through, then hit them with the, with the, uh, the baseball bat choke. Okay, so I'll just go through the points. We said this in the last video, but I'll just say this one more time. So whenever you set up a baseball bat choke from the guard position, you have to be patient. Uh, if you let them know what's going on too early, they'll figure it out and then they'll defend it. And as one of the other comments on the our last video said, oh yeah, you can defend it X, Y, and Z. Absolutely right. But you'd be surprised how many times you can hit this. Okay, so from here, come over the top. Right, set up the S, the S grip. You're not too tight because you don't want them to figure out what's going on. If they can feel pressure on the neck now, they're gonna start thinking, oh, wait, what's good? they set something up. So from here, I might struggle a little bit, and then at that, I let down. Right, stop the mix, stop the So from here, he's in half guard. Well, I mean, he's um, Jim's in half guard. So from this position, if I went at this point here, and I come through, I won't be able to do it, I won't be able to finish it at all. So you've got to be patient. The second this leg here pops through, which is now, that's the point where you come underneath, and you're gonna sweep all the way down. Done. <laughs> um, now, someone did say uh, in the last video, uh, what happens if they put pressure yeah. or something? So it was from here, if you come down, do it again, mate. So come through, right, so I'm gonna make my round. And then what you're gonna do is come around again, Stop there, mate. Right, okay, from here, if you're not sure how to do it, a better way of thinking of it is try and come underneath. 
Rather than going from here and going sideways, I'm gonna move down a smidgey and then around the corner. So from here, I'm gonna come down. And I'm gonna try and disappear underneath his stomach. Okay, so rather than going sideways from here, it's not, you're gonna try and disappear underneath them. And that will stop. So if he tries to put a bit of top pressure on top, that's fine. Put a bit of top pressure on. From here, that's fine, because from here, you're gonna, you, now I can't move this way, because he's pinning my shoulder, but I can go down. So from here, done. Okay, so. That answers that question. That answers that question, yeah. It's, you've got to come down, you've got to come, as you're coming down the body and around. Now, for, for intricate details, feel free to WhatsApp us. Uh, it's uh, 07951 314857. That's 07951 314857. Happy to talk you through each stage of it and just generally geek out about Jiu Jitsu. Um, and if you have any questions or you want to see something in particular, let us know and we're uh, happy to show you what we think. So get a message. What's your favourite scary movie? <laughs> <laughs> It's not Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> so, yeah, the first one. Oh. You know, remember the scary movie, the first one? That's amazing. It's like it's certain death. Is that your actual number? Certain you death. Out? Yeah. <laughs> certain... <laughs> Text him all day, every day. Right? So get, get your questions in. <laughs> Happy to talk Jiu Jitsu all day long. So uh, get them in. Uh, for now, see you later on. <laughs> I have a message you. What pants are you wearing? <laughs> but, not them questions. <laughs> Come on, man, uh, so yeah, if you have any questions, let us know, and uh, we'll happy to see you in the next video. Peace, peace. Nope, nope, my speakers.